Hello YouTube, this is NJ Devil Fan 26 today with a little update video. Now normally when I say update video, I mean an update on what's going on with me or something that's going on on my channel, but this is an update video on my applications. Two of my applications, and I guess half of it has to do with my channel since one of them has to do with the NJ Devil Fan 26 app. So let's get on into this. For any of you that have downloaded any of my apps, Tap Wars, Shake Wars, uh, the NJ Del Fantu 6 app, or the Ask My Clients T4 show, Dig Z Doug TV, or Punisher 08, you guys would know that I have an update for the NJ Del Fantu 6 app, as well as Tap Wars. So, you can see I have the NJ Del Fantu 6 app and Tap Wars on one of my pages on my iPod Touch. So, I'm going to go into the NJ Del Fantu 6 app first. Number one, you'll see that we have the old iPhonic logo which will soon be replaced with the new trademarked iPhone logo, which you guys will see in Tap Wars. Put the volume up. I'm going to skip through that. So on the home page, one new thing you'll see is that we have Punisher 08 now featured on the page. So if you tap on any of these icons, it will bring you out of the app and to their channel page. Now if you're interested in having your app advertised on the app which has been downloaded a little bit over 2,000 times you can just simply email me at njdelvan26 at gmail.com and we'll work out some sort of deal. Next in our info view instead of sliding up let me just tap it it now flips just a different animation and not many of you know this but if you tap on http colon slash slash www.iphonic.com it actually will bring up the iphonic website. Let's go back also, we made the contact button a little bit bigger, and like before, we do have an in-app email. Next, if we go over to YouTube, nothing new except that originally when a page was loading, the activity indicator wouldn't spin, which was a little bug. It would close after the page loaded, but it wouldn't spin, and now it does spin. So that problem has been fixed. Loads up very nicely in a table cell like view. Just tap on it and it brings you to the corresponding page. Of course, you can subscribe within the app or go back. That's nothing new. Next, we'll go into Twitter. So in Twitter, you guys can see that it does download my NJ Del Fan 26 Twitter icon, which is my icon for everything NJ Del Fan 26, and it also has chat-like bubbles to load the tweets into. So you can see it says NJ Del Fanti 6 at NJ Del NHL Devils, excuse me. See what happens when you let two men screen Brodor. Which actually happened tonight. I was at the Devil game. They lost 3 2 with 27 seconds left because two men were screening Martin Brodor, Devils star goalie, in front of that. And none of the defensemen did their jobs in blocking them and moving them out of the way. So as Brodor was trying to move them out of the way, the I forget the guy, I think it was Dottie, took a shot, uh, and it went right past Brodor. So anyone from the Devils organization watching that there, work on that for practice tomorrow. <laughs> uh, next, normally when you tapped on a tweet, it would bring you out of the app and into Safari to load up that specific tweet. But now, if you tap on any of the tweets, it will bring up a web view, which will show you the full tweet, so you can actually totally stay within the app and never have to leave. You can see it works with any of the tweets. Next, if we're going to the at reply entry Delphin26, of course, you can tweet me from within the app. And just a little graphics change. Since the whole app is red, I decided to make the background red and change the color of the text field. So that's it. Little update for the entry Delphin26 app. And you can also see there is a new home icon for the tab bar. So, not much. Just a little couple bug fixes. A little bit of a new, new UI switch in the Twitter area. Just a very simple 2.1 update. If you haven't downloaded it yet, it's free on the App Store. Just search NJ Dolphin 26 or iPhone and it'll pop up right there. And again, if you're interested in advertising your channel on the home page of the app, you can simply email me at njdolphin26 at gmail.com. So let's close out of that and head into Tap Wars. So on Tap Wars, you can see that we do have a little new refurbished cleaned up icon. The red is a little bit lighter than it was on the previous one. Just wait for it to load up. 
and number one you'll notice that we have a more apps page on the home screen so if we tap on more apps it will bring you into our more apps page where you can tap on one of the icons which are all the apps we have in the app store shake words ng dove can do six app dizzy doug tv t4 show or punisher 08 tap on that and it will bring you right into the app store to that apps corresponding page next you'll see that the open fan icon or button was actually extended to make it more finger friendly. And when you tap on it, you can see that we have the new Open Faint 2.4 built into the app, which has a lot of new UI fixes plus advertising. So after that field runner is in this now Open Faint banner goes away, you should see Shake Words being advertised in it. We'll just wait for that. Nope, shows field runners again. We'll wait one more time. There we go. And when you tap on Shake Wars, it will bring you to an open faint corresponding Shake Wars page, and it will allow you to buy Shake Wars. Next, we have leaderboards. Same as usual, 5, 10, or th and 30 seconds, but now we have 60 seconds, which is something I'll be introducing to you guys when we get into single player. You guys can see that we do have 60 seconds over here. We'll go back. And we do have some new achievements as well. Now, because so many of you PM'd me and sent me emails through the iPhonic form on the iPhonic website, www.iphonic.com, saying that you couldn't unlock the secret achievements, we unlocked some of them for you to give you an idea of the other secrets that can be unlocked. Number one, we added Tap Attack, which is tapping 700 times in 60 seconds, and then Tap Wars Champion, which is tapping 1,000 times in 60 seconds. And next, you can see we have Tap Lord 50. This was one of the hidden achievements, which is winning one more tapping to 50 in multiplayer over Bluetooth. And then we have Tap Lord 100, Tap Lord 150, and Tap Lord 200. And you can try to guess what the other secrets are, but a little clue they do have to do with Bluetooth multiplayer. So let's close out of that and head into single player. So like I said, we have 5, 10, 30, and now 60 seconds to give you a little bit more of a variety. We'll just test this out. Now, warning, it hurts your wrist and fingers so much after tapping for 30 seconds. We'll give it a go. I have been playing this a lot lately, so my fingers aren't as fast as they normally are. Looks like we're not doing bad. A little over 110 seconds. And now my hand's starting to cramp up. I'm best when I do this right out of bed. You can see the tap button changes color the higher you get. Ah, this burns. We'll switch hands. Can't go as fast as my left hand. Alright, so we're averaging about 100 every 10 seconds. Ah, uh, this burns so much. I'm doing terribly. I think my best is like 758, which you guys can check out on the leaderboards. All right, 539, nothing special. But of course, you can submit your score to Twitter, view your achievements if you unlocked one, or submit it to the Open Faint leaderboard. And a little bit of a new UI tweak, the Neither Go Back button is now red. Nothing special there, but just a little fix. Now, in Bluetooth, I did clean up a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff that you guys didn't really see. But one thing you guys did see, and for those of you who did play over Bluetooth, just load that up. Some of you could have cheated if you didn't, uh, if you canceled the peer picker controller, which allowed you to find other people playing using Bluetooth. Then you could have cheated and just tapped on your way until they uh, successfully connected. But now, if you cancel, it will bring up an alert view saying that it seems like you would like not like to chat via Bluetooth. Would you like to go straight to multiplayer level picker or go back to the main menu? You also see that we do have a landscape keyboard now. Now, I don't have my brother's iPhone 3GS with me right now as he is not home, so I can't show you guys Bluetooth. But now when you send a message, the text will turn red, and when you see 
receive one, excuse me, it will turn green, just to give you a little bit newer notification system to let you know when you've sent or received a message. So we press main menu, it'll bring me back to the main menu. Or if I press level picker, it will bring me to the level picker. Now, the part where it prevents cheating. If you try to tap to 50 or any of the other numbers, 100, 150, or 200, if you cancel it, it will bring you back to the level picker so you can't cheat anymore. So guys, those are the two updates for the NJ Dell Fantasy 6 app and Tap Wars. Actually, one more thing I want to show you guys. The new trademarked iPhonic logo. Just wait for that to show up. Here it is, right over here, guys. This is the new official iPhonic logo. I'll just zoom into that. By the way, this version is version 1.0.1. There we go. It's autofocused. So this is the new logo. We have a bear with its iPhone in his stomach and his iPhone in his right hand holding a honey jar that says iPhonic on it. Next, you can see we have the mail icon on the top as well just to clean up the UI. And that's about it. So guys, this is NJ Delphan26. Please go ahead and update to Tap Wars version 1.0.1 as well as NJ Delphan26 app 2.1. This is NJ Delphan26 again, and I'll see you guys in the next